Hello guys, very quick intro to the vlog because we are all systems go at the minute. We have honestly got the quickest turnaround. We're actually in London, we've made it. I don't ask me how we've made it to London, but we've made it to London. And we have half an hour to get to the My Protein Run Club. They literally start running in 30 minutes time. And um, we just checked into the hotel, dumped our bags, got changed, made ourselves look semi-presentable. And now we are off. We are literally about to sprint to the tube. So I will chat to you guys properly later when we're back in our room. But all systems go and I'll speak to you when we're at the Move Club. And welcome to the video, it's gonna be a good one. We made it, oh my God. We ran here <laughs> and saw them across the road, honestly sprinted. We made it. Of course we did. Okay. Wait, so I left that trip you at 12 p.m. It's now it's seven. It's now well, seven hours. It shouldn't take seven hours to get a shit about. We've checked into a hotel. We've been on tubes. We've got changed. It's been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But here we are, about to run. So we're at the My Protein and Puma Move Club. It's literally just like a 5K run. We missed a lot of the bit before. There was like a big panel, a big talk. Um, but we're here now. Not sure where you are. There you go, in the middle, in the middle, um, and Jack is going to be at the back. He's over there with the drone. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're running a six minute pace today, so because we're just shaking our head at this, we're going to take off. Six minute pace? Six minute pace, that's too quick for you. Yeah. <laughs> when you tell your story. I mean, it is sexual. The chaos. <laughs> the sheer chaos. <laughs> but we're moving. Oh, yeah. We're doing the move club. We got the girlies. Here we are. Guys, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Running through London, Oxford Street, to be precise, is not the one. Yeah. Run done. Yay. Oh, I only got two bars battery. Two That's bars fine. Because it's getting pretty late. Well, it doesn't feel late, but it's 10 to 8. Bright light, 10 to 8. And we are two hungry people. Yes, two hungry and excited people that are going to get a wagon on this. We couldn't decide between Nando's and Waggers, but I think if we were racing tomorrow, no, it's not, it's not no we wouldn't get a Nando's. We'd get pasta or pizza or something. Oh, I'd have a Nando's if I was racing. I'd probably have a Nando's too, to oh, be fair. I but I don't want a Nando's. No, I really want Waggers. We'll get Nando's tomorrow. Please, I really want Waggers. What lovely, lovely noodles and ramen. We always get Nando's. We haven't had Waggers in ages. Yeah, I know. I know. I, yeah, okay. <laughs> you had Nando's yesterday, did you? I know, but I just live. For I know it. it's good. Tomorrow maybe. Yeah, we're gonna go and get a. <laughs> very excited but yeah i feel really good after that run it was just i was gonna say it was nice and slow and easy but actually it was so hot i was, I was we were both really sweating and actually i was quite out of breath um i think it's because we were chatting and we were swerving in and out of everyone on the streets which was quite chaotic but then we got into high park and it was nice but yeah we are gonna get some food and head back and i'll speak to you when we're back in our room yay yeah tea me no no tea is there tea is there tea is there mugs Wait, there's a kettle, but is there any mugs? Yeah, all in there. In there, definitely. Yeah, look. We've just been to Sainsbury's, and I was like, I'm going to pick up some biscuits because I hope there's a um, kettle there's a and mugs. Brilliant. Put the bananas in there. Wait, is that not safe? No, it's a fridge. <laughs> um, we're back at the room, but we just nipped to Sainsbury's oh, to I get a few bits for the room. Water and milk. Oh, brilliant. Milk. <laughs> Could definitely have a cup of tea now. Is um, that room service here? I don't know. I don't really know what sort of hotel this is. Um, We've got some bits from Sainsbury's. We've got bottles, big bottles of water because we need to drink a lot of water this weekend. We've got two of these big bottles. Very unexciting. we got um, some bananas because we've not got breakfast at the hotel. So I think what we'll do is probably just have a banana every morning and then go out and find somewhere a bit nicer, obviously, because we're in London. i got some Maryland little cookies to have with my cup of tea in the morning that I am most excited about. I wonder if we've got Earl Grey. English tea, green tea, decaf, coffee bags. Coffee bags, Danny. Yeah. Coffee bags, all right. Normal tea, I can do with normal tea. Um, and a couple of protein bars to put in my bag each day for when I get hangry, as you guys know. Um, these are literally the nicest. So, so nice. Full fill. Um, and I also got a whisper yogurt to have now in the room with a spoon and Danny got a little chocolate pastry because we didn't have anything sweet and you've got to finish with something sweet but Wagamama's was um, 10 out of 10 always is 10 out of 10 I can still taste the Wagamama's in my mouth now but I'm going to love you and leave you guys today and we will 
speak tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we've literally got no plans. We just have a full day in London pretty much. Um, but equally, we don't want to walk around too much because we don't want to have tired legs for Sunday morning. We'll get a massage tomorrow. Good do you? You want to? We've got literally all day to figure out um, what to do. We'll probably discuss that tonight, but I will see you guys. Night from us. Night night. Night night, tomorrow morning. A very good morning to you all. A gorgeous morning. Possibly the most gorgeous morning oh. of the year. Of the year, I'd say. The most gorgeous morning of the year. I'm saying it, it's all right. Here you are in the background. Um, we have just rolled out of bed. Um, a bit late for us, but Danny wanted a line because he's not had a line all week, so. Time check. Time check is 9.40. 9.40, that's late. It's yeah. late for us. Um, we just chucked on our running clothes, like nice running clothes. I've just got this really nice matching set for my protein, got a bag with my phone and camera in, and we're going to go for a little half an hour plod We're finishing some breakfast. Um, I think Hyde, Hyde Park where you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. towards Olympia than Hyde Park. Yeah, um, I'm still not feeling 100% sore throat, blocked nose. Doesn't bode well for tomorrow, but we'll cruise it out. I'll push through it. Um, taking tablets already this morning. We've got our matching sunnies on that we've got from Berlin. Um, we're loving these. We get so many questions about them. Um, if I remember, <laughs> I will leave them linked in the description while down below because they were literally like seventy pounds on Amazon. Um, yeah, let me just show you this outfit because I love it. Just got on um, this little long sleeve zip up top for my protein with matching sports bra and matching shorts. But yeah, we are going to head out for our. 30 minute very easy job this morning because neither of us really want to sweat because we want to be out all day we don't want to have to come back to the hotel shower change then go back out again so we're just going to go for a very slow easy plod and finish some yummy breakfast we're at brekkie it is very sunny and we've managed to get a table outside but we're in the shade um, we've actually been to the venue already this morning and it's half 11. i literally spoke to you guys two hours ago <laughs> we've killed two hours of time went to the menu and we did a skier challenge we bought some goodies from the high rock shop i'm here with my cappuccino and we've ordered some eggs and avocado on toast can't wait gorgeous day food here thank you thanks thank you thank you yours looks incredible this is what we've got what have you got Spanish tortilla. Oh, that looks so good. Is that potato, isn't that? Yeah. Oh, I wish I got that. Guys, what a real, real shame. A real, real shame. I am one poorly, awful looking girl, but made it through to the end of the day. Um, we did quite a few steps. I didn't get my camera out, which is because I felt like I was trying to minimise my talking. Um, we did quite a few steps. Actually, clocked 18,000 so far. We're just about to hop in an Uber to go back to the venue to meet Aaron and Anya, our friends, for some lovely dinner and some carbs. Because as much as I'm poorly, I'm sliding in. Um, as much as I'm poorly, I'm still going to race tomorrow. Yeah, we are in an Uber now. I'm going to go get some food in the hope that that makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah, my voice is going. It's okay. Danny was like, it's okay if you don't want to do it. Like, if you feel too poorly, I really don't mind. Um, but I could never because I'm really looking forward to this one. And I'm also really gutted because I, sorry, I'm trying to put my belt on. I wanted to try really hard and like try and do really well, but by the sound of me so far, I'm not sure about that. Obviously we'll still try and do the best I can. Oh my God, the state of it. Guys, we are back at the venue. Um, about to watch the pro race. We're going to register for our race tomorrow. Election chaos, utter chaos. Back with the High Rocks bestie though. we've been to where you've got a bit of a viewing gallery but I'm sorry the view from up here I feel like I could stand here all day and people watch like this is a hell of a view it goes all the way around as well so you can literally stand wherever you want um, I don't love this venue but I love this bit about this venue it's so cool we've got to watch a whole race now like I'm going to watch my friend do it and I feel like this is the perfect place to watch it look at the view look at these sleds down here oh my god so exciting morning guys Good morning. Race day, we literally race in exactly one hour. One hour, it's three minutes to seven, we race eight o'clock. I, I'm sorry, I should not be racing. I should absolutely not be racing, but this is the one I've been looking forward to most for such a long time. I've really, really wanted to get us out of it. I've been really wanting to race with Danny now for so long, so I'm just gonna still do it. Like, I literally don't care. Like, I can't breathe. I keep coughing every couple of seconds, but I don't care, I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, I don't know how much I'll be able to vlog this morning. We've not got anyone. We've got a videographer, but we've not got anyone there that I can like give my camera to or my phone to. Um, because 
everyone that I'd normally give it to is racing. Like Danny, my friend Anya, my coach Aaron, like we're all racing. So annoyingly, I won't be able to film anything or get any content. Yeah, I don't know when I'll next speak to you. Um, as I said, we've literally got one hour. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put the camera back in my bag. If I get the camera out, I do. If I don't, I don't. Wish us luck. I hope I don't feel like this in an hour or we've got a big problem. Half an hour to go. I'd like one word from you of how you're feeling. Describe how you're feeling. Cold. You're cold? No. It is literally in here. Another good word. Another good word. I'm feeling excited. Excited. Raring excited. to go. Can't say the same. <laughs> Cannot say the same. Um, 7.30, so yeah, half an hour. We should probably pack our bags up, get undressed and head to the warm-up area. Finally, I'm in so much pain. Oh, so annoying. Right, guys, I'll speak to you when I probably look a lot worse than this. Oh my God, guys. If I didn't have a voice, or I certainly don't have one now. I don't even know if you can hear me. My voice is completely gone. So we can't talk. I'm absolutely exhausted. Flag? But I'm so happy. So happy. I'll show you the flag. We've got a third. So that's my second first place flag. Second. I've only got more than you. I've got my only podium. With Teamwork the makes the dream, dream work. work. Guys, we had really good tactics, so I think that's what sort of made us do quite well. Basically, I didn't do any stations. <laughs> no, you did some burpees. I did, I did about eight burpees and I did half the length half a length of sled push. The rest of it I didn't touch. Didn't touch the ski, sled pull, row up. But I think it's important to recognise that. lunges or walk was didn't touch it. Like just, you play to your strengths, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. And, and so we ran, <laughs> ran our little socks well, because, off. guys, my running, my fast running is his recovery running. Yeah. So like he could do all the stations whilst I recovered. The important bit was my running, wasn't it? Yeah, you win, you win, you win a high rocks on, on your runs. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. Anyway, burgers. We're just getting burgers, yeah. I'm so sorry I sound like this. I'd love to do more talking. Burgers, chicken strips, and fries. Yeah. And good times only. And good times only. Speak Bye. to you a bit. Bye. Only a couple of times. Only a couple of times. Hello, guys. Are we recording? Do you know what it is, though? You probably don't know. It will be, it's exactly a week since I last filmed on here. She's a bad vlogger. No. She's a bad YouTuber, guys. Oh my god, you're not boiling. Yeah, I'm literally brothers. Sorry, I was just trying you to. You keep it off if you want. Just a little bit open, guys. <laughs> Guys, it's a whole week later, but I'm not going to go into why, because if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably know why. You girls had absolutely no voice. And it's 
This is really only the first proper day yesterday as well that it's back and I'm actually able to say anything. Should I put that aircon on somehow? Please. Aircon. I think if we put the aircon right on. Right down low. There you go. That should come out cold now. Oh yeah, and then you put your window up. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a week later since oh. I last vlogged, since we were doing High Rocks, and I've only just got my voice back. Obviously, when I last spoke to you guys, it was going. Well, it fully went. Like, it actually fully, fully went. So I've only been able to pick the camera up today, and today is the day that I'm going to post the video. I'm going to post it this evening. Um, but obviously, the footage I got from London High Rocks, I had to stop. Like, I couldn't even film my mum and Molly. I couldn't do any talking on that Sunday because I, <laughs> I couldn't, which was a real shame. But yeah, I had laryngitis. Well, Laryngitis? I'm assuming that's what it was. I haven't yeah. been. To, I didn't go to the doctors because Google diagnosis. I googled. Yeah, I googled diagnosed myself, and um, with laryngitis, it says you don't really need to go to the doctors. It just sort of goes away by itself. You can exercise and stuff, though, can't you? Yeah, we've just finished our session at our um, gym, our Sunday morning conditioning session. It's oh, ten o'clock. Oh my god! I didn't stop my watch. Did you not? No. Um, hence us looking like this, and my voice still sounds a bit croaky because. Like, I know I don't work that hard on the runs, but on stations I feel like I work You're well. pushing it, yeah. Those warbles, that 20th warble that I did on the last. Beep. Mixed doubles. Oh, we could talk about it whilst I drive, but I think like my camera might go. Do you mean to hold it? No, I might stay there. Um, we just wanted to talk about our range ready, because I feel like we've not properly spoken... Well, obviously we've not spoken about it, because I couldn't talk. Um, Do you know what it is, right? Basically, I'm not going to lie, guys, I've had quite a few... I hate, not I hate comments, but like... I was, that's what I was going to say, trolls. Hate, yeah, trolls. And if there's one or two trolls, that means there's, there's another percentage of people thinking it, so... Yeah. Um, basically, <laughs> someone that does high rocks, a, a woman, maybe early 40s, she messaged me and she basically said... Oh no, she liked a, a troll comment that was basically saying that um, we blagged our way into the world champs because Danny did all the stations and I didn't do any of the stations and it was like I'm sorry but the, that there is there is no there is no there is no rule and like how do you, you do you do it you do it together we get around it yeah. together it doesn't matter how you split the stations he thought that if he did all the stations they'd get a sub hour which is really mean because just ha just give credit where it's due yeah yeah there's no rule anyway we could probably talk about it for ages because um there's obviously something we feel quite passionate about for someone to say that we um Blacked our way into the world champs. It's just comical. Like, it's actually laughable. I don't feel offended because yeah. we didn't. We got into the world champs fair and square. We got into the world champs in back in September, <laughs> and all we wanted to do was just try and. Oh no, that was it. Someone said, um, "If my partner did all the stations and I just rested, we'd probably win as well." Well, no, you wouldn't because you wouldn't be able to run a four twenty. Yeah, look, case. there's a. It's, it's not about blagging. It's about strategy and playing to your strengths. <laughs> as simple tactics. as that. We had really and, good tactics. And six, seven, eight. Nine months of dedicated high rocks training, guys. He's really passionate about that. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna go in now, not, <laughs> no, really, not. not for the YouTube. <laughs> Can yeah. I just say as well, on like that race, which lane might he be in here? Uh, you're going straight on, so in this right hand lane, I think. No, I think it's this one, isn't it? Is it? Oh, yeah. Um, we, I, I know I was like worried about the race, and I thought, oh my god, it was so hard, but it was actually one of my favorite I think I've ever done. Like, I know obviously I didn't really do the stations, but running eight 1Ks hard. I've, I loved, and I can yeah. think it back, and I'm like, oh my god, I want to do it again. I actually loved it. I loved you pushing me on the buns. I loved, I, I love fast running. Like, I love doing track sessions. I love doing threshold running. I love, I love doing like interval sessions. That was basically for me one big interval session. See, um, I, that's, that's, it's like a big. You flip it on its head because I was loving the runs because I could recover and watch you work hard. That's it. Yeah. And I obviously was pushing the station, so I was in a mind. And I was mode, recovering. And you was enjoying watching yeah. the station, so. Um, but I'd say on a whole, like, it was definitely one of my favourite. I mean, I always say that, like, after every race, other than London, I hated London. Um, <laughs> on your own. Just, on my own. Yeah. They've, they've, they always, like, oh, that was my favourite race, that was my favourite race. When I did the fur, not on your yeah. view. Like, it's always been my favourite race. But yeah. I'd say that probably was my favourite race. Loved it and so much. Yeah. And I never went other than when it's So he said to me before, I'd never get on the podium. I'm like, I'll get you on the podium, my girl. Sorry, it's, <laughs> honestly, I just feel like I look so gross. I'll get you up there, my sweetheart. And, and you did. You stuck to your word, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've just and our, we was we've racing. not even spoken about our mum and our mum. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to say, what was also fun about that race is we was racing with our friends, Aaron and Anya, Zoe's coach and friend. Like, and they literally, yeah, they literally finished, like, we finished within a couple of seconds of each other, which was... It was just well, nice I, being I on the I had a stations. feeling we were going to do that, I really did. Yeah, it was nice just being on the stations with them, wasn't it, and having a bit of a crack. Yeah, should I just park it? Yeah, uh, as long as we don't block any hangar no, doors. Wait, no, yeah, we are... I can't really see what it like, and I'm assuming it's not good. Because we've just, I'm, I just feel really dirty and sweaty. That was a hard session. It was hot, three, hot and hard. Three ten minute and maps twice. The so sixty minutes of 
of consistent work. I'm just going to pull up some stats. And I'm also going to open the door. But um, we've actually got a lot to do today. Oh yeah, and sorry, I didn't get any footage. I filmed some on my phone and I posted it on Instagram and TikTok and stuff of my mum and Danny's sister Molly doing it. They absolutely smashed it. And that race and them competing really goes to show that um, absolutely anyone can do it. Like my mum, who has never done anything like that before, your sister, who's never done anything like that before. No. Like, um, if yours, look how close that car is. May not get out. Um, if you're thinking about doing it and you're just worried about fitness levels, or you, you need to have a, a relative base oh. level fitness. Just be a bit. Basically, the movements are simple. Yeah, the movements. It's hard. Everyone can do it, and it's a long, it's a long it. day out. Like if you, you know, if you're not overly fit, it might take you a while, but it's definitely, definitely achievable. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they absolutely loved it. They're already talking in our little high rocks chat, which you seen this morning about booking Non-stop. another one. Literally Non-stop. talking about booking another one. My mum's ordered wall balls. Um, so yeah, they absolutely smashed it, and. I'm really proud of them because I, I was unsure they were either going to love it or hate it. I, I knew they were going to love it, but in the back of my mind, I thought, God, they actually might hate this. Yeah. Um, yeah, we are just meeting everyone. We've just finished our session. We're going to go to our little local coffee shop, Kickback Coffee, our favourite coffee shop. Yeah. You're going to be boiling. I know, but I can't Have wait. Have you got, do you want to put that vest back on? I can't have a t-shirt in no, I won't be hot. I just unzip it. All right. Um, we're going to get a coffee, a nice coffee with everyone. We always do this on a Sunday Sounds after waiting. our session. We're coming. Um, I'm going to get a coffee now. Yeah, I'm going to say um, I am absolutely over the moon that I've got a voice back before, <coughs> I mean semi back, before my ending next week. Less than a week. Oh my God, less than a week. It's Sunday today and we go on Friday. Friday morning. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm going to try and put another video out, I think, before my ending. Um, but yeah, we're going to Ibiza. I think Molly mentioned that on her. YouTube as well. We're going to Ibiza, me and I think there's 12 of us, or, no there's 13 of us in total, me included. Um, oh my god, it's going to be so good. So Molly's done amazing at planning. I, I'm not going to vlog it, but I've asked Molly to vlog it because I obviously just want to enjoy it. But yeah, it's going to be so exciting, but we are at our little coffee shop now. And we're all here, everyone who's trained this morning, getting a coffee. <laughs> Cannot see a thing in that viewfinder. Because <laughs> of the sun, I've got um, a decaf iced Americano because um, actually on Google, my Google diagnosis said that I'm not meant to be drinking caffeine either with laryngitis. Really? Yeah, I said no caffeine because it dries your throat out. But what's this then? This isn't caffeine. It's not caffeine, you've got decaf. Um, and also, I'm trying to avoid oat milk because someone said with my skin it could be oat milk potentially, but I don't know. I have oat milk every day in my cup of tea, but I'm just going to have Americanos instead of a latte. That was so hard. I can't tell you how hard that session was, guys. It was a lot of like, I just feel like my whole body hurts right now. Yeah, you worked so hard. It was the runs and also the heat. Yeah. So we've actually walked a mile down from that coffee shop to this little canal boat that is always here on the canal. And they do food, they do drinks. So we are going to get breakfast, a little bacon butty. I say breakfast, it's literally quarter past 11, Danny. <laughs> quarter past 11 and we've not eaten. Bad news, my hay fever's coming back. I've just done about five sneezes in a row, so I need to start taking hay fever tablets ASAP. Anyone else today? Because I'm posting it, I'm filming on the day that I'm posting. Anyone else today notice a bit of hay fever? Because this is the first day I've noticed it. This is the little canal, honestly. Every time I go for a run past this canal, I am desperate to stop. Because obviously there's loads of seats here, and it just looks so nice. Everything on the menu is unreal. These gorgeous little flowers as well, they for sale. Because I'd take them. Um, the queue's always really big as well. I'm just waiting for our bacon rolls. He got a coffee. I just got water and we got a bacon roll each, but honestly, like, it's the hardest thing to not stop at this little boat. Every time I'm going for a run. Someone got us a bacon roll each, let me have a look. Rate this bacon roll at 10. This, for me, Sunday morning, big high rock session. Coffee with our friends. A walk, a mile walk to get a bacon roll. That is what dreams are made of. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's a good one, darling. Good one. Um, we're actually going to turn the camera off now because we're talking about something quite exciting mm. that I'm not going to share with you guys yet. Because it might happen, it might never happen, but we are talking it's about happening. something quite exciting. Um, which maybe one day I'll share with you guys. Okay, we are back. Some voice is still not quite there. Showered, changed in some comfy clothes to do an afternoon of wedding admin. Danny is working away on something. 
again that I probably won't really tell you about um he can tell you in his own time what he's doing and mm. what he's working on and if he wants to share that with everybody one time one day soon um but for now I'll just let him crack on with it um he's gonna finish that off and then job number one today it's Sunday the 12th of May quarter past one in the afternoon for reference like I said I will be posting this video this evening I will 100% um, obviously I like to post on a Sunday morning ideally but even yesterday I was barely able to talk so I couldn't really finish it off and add a bit more time onto it because I'm, I'm sorry like I just can't post a 15 minute vlog I absolutely can't um, but number one job today is sort out guests in terms of let's see how many declines we've had and if we can bump people up and then we really need to do this eating plan like that has to be done today it has to be because the lady that's doing like the decor and stuff and um like the seating plan um chart not the charts but the board where it shows you who sat where like is asking for is basically asking for the seating plan so we need to get that done today second job so bumping the people up second job seating plan i've made a little list on my phone we also need to do our music choices so like our first dance song the song that i want to walk down the aisle to we a little bit controversial but we don't really have like set songs that we definitely know oh yeah this is the one that we want to use yeah like we just love loads of songs i'm gonna put my nails sorry um but he's working away we just love loads of songs but there's no like specific song we think oh yeah that's definitely going to be our first dance song so we actually do need to try and there's a couple that we that we think we might use um, but we need to nail that one down today. I also made the nicest drink um, and I'm really sad it's finished and I'm tempted to make another one but I don't feel like I can keep making these drinks. It's literally just really, really cold water, two scoops of vegan protein drink in like strawberry flavour and then a couple of spoonfuls of like some of different real um, supplements but oh. I think the job I might do whilst he's finishing off doing his work, his exciting work, is write down the names of all the guests. You could do with some plain paper for this. Write down the name of all the guests because someone suggested that when we do the table plan, the seating plan, that you have like little things that you can move about rather than doing it on your phone or like on your notes um, app to do it so you can like actually move them back because then you know who's like back to back, you know where people are sat exactly on the table and then you can literally just take a picture of it and send it to... Um, whoever needs to know so I'm going to get started by writing all the names of everyone that's coming Danny just said shall we get into the meat of it have a Can little bit get into the crux of it guys look what I've just been doing You've we've, done well we've bumped up but we've not fully but we've not told them we've bumped up so we know who we've bumped up <laughs> we need to chase up a couple of people who are unsure if they're coming or not and I have cut out do we have milk sorry everyone's names yeah there's a little oat milk in the fridge what? we need to put them in places I think I think it's going to be a lot harder than we think. I do. I think my family is going to be okay because it's so small, so you can all just sort of go together. But Danny's got a big family and he's got a lot of friends. Can't relate. David Ray? No, that's your other David Ray. He's not coming. Your granddad? Uh oh. <laughs> I thought you had my cousin. Granddad's coming. <laughs> oh. Right, now we need to put them in order of where they're sat. You do that. Really? Yeah. I don't really because know. Because I started putting... I don't really know what's no, right. what the tra Let's just tradition is. Traditional top table, and then we'll work back from there, yeah? Yeah. No, because... Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. So, Tony and my sister. No, it's boy girl, boy girl. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, because my sister's near my mum then. Danny. Mm -hmm. Bride's mother. Mm -hmm. Deb's. Mm -hmm. Groom's father. Me, dad. Yeah, that works. And then we've got Molly and Richie yeah. on the end. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do actually, is we're going to put Dad on the end so mm -hmm. we can be near Rosie and Richie can chew your mum's lugs off. Absolutely no idea how. I'm going to see what time we started doing that. How was that so easy? We started doing that 45 minutes ago. That, yeah, but it was. It was, it was about, about 40 minutes ago. And yeah. most of that time was spending trying to find people's names. Guys, we did it. We, we literally, literally did, did it, it and it wasn't even hard. And we're really happy with all the tables. I'm really happy. Like, are you really happy? Lovely, lovely. Is there anything you would change? Nothing. Great groupings. Good Great crack. Great groupings, yeah. Good crack. Yeah. 
I mean, if people on this table over here can't make it, then that's going to be a pretty dead table. There'll be like four people on it, but... Um, we could maybe move a couple of people on 12 tables. We can make some late minute additions. Uh, bump ups. Bump ups from people that are there for There's a few weekend. people that said they can come, but they also might not be able to come. So we're just thinking of people that we can bump up. But I'm really, really happy with that. Like, I thought we were going to be doing that for hours. I thought there was going to be like one person that we just couldn't slot in somewhere. Only one thing that sprung to mind is we told Kerry we'd have 102. So there's one person potentially we could bump up. There's not really one, we're just looking at our list, by the way. <laughs> I'm staring in space, there's not really one person by themselves. And also, if they don't end up coming, there could be two or three people we could bump up, like a couple, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And also, that one person would go we'll there. We'll sort this one out a month out. Have you met, I think you should message them also, like, soon to yeah, say, well. can you come if you not? Yeah. That's that, guys, we've, we've done it. And now we need to take a picture of this all, make sure I don't sneeze or cough on it all and blow it everywhere. That would be an absolute nightmare. Um, Really, really happy. We literally look about 10 years older. <laughs> so, what the f what were we playing at? What were we playing at? Okay, push it closer. <laughs> when was that? December 2022. Guys, we're just looking back at old pictures. We were... Chubby little things, aren't we? Just a little bit, yeah. And, but it's also pictures of us and I've pictures of I've lost a food. stone since those pictures. Not even, like, really trying. Well, that's All we why. did when we... Because that would be... You were, you were actually quite bad. Yeah. Like, I think you made me... Yeah, you'd smash one there in. We're looking back through old pictures because for, for our table um, names, oh. we're finding pictures for each table of us doing stuff. No, 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 no. Where, what, where's that? Where is that? Where is that? Uh, probably in the... <laughs> when we finally realised we... <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. It's getting late enough, so I think that brings this video nicely to a little close. Um, sorry, it's been a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but I did put a story out as well saying, I'm really sorry, I'm not going to be able to get a video out for you, like, while I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get one out at all. And loads of you were like, don't worry about us, just rest your voice, blah, blah, blah. So that really, really assured me and made me feel a lot better about potentially not getting one out. But I am, I am getting one out, albeit at half eight in the evening. Um, so I'm sorry it's late. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I think the next one I'm going to film will be this week and I'm going to be like doing Hindu prep stuff. Like I really, I really can't tell you how excited I am. Like honestly, it's just such a, it's such a big random mix of people from like my family, Danny's family, my army friends. I it, honestly, it's just gym friends. Like, it's just friends from all over. But I just feel like it's gonna be such a good group and we're gonna have so much fun. Like I literally can't wait. Yeah, if you got to the end of the video guys, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. I love you all. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.